What is up guys, today we're going to be unboxing the refurbished Galaxy S9 Plus from Amazon. I'm going to check it out, see how it was. This phone is really cheap, around 189 bucks. Another older flagship, and I have a few more uh, older flagships coming uh, that you guys have been asking about. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. And uh, usually they're always going to come in like these white boxes and stuff like that. Uh, you will get a new charger and then you will get a power brick. And um, I got, I went with the uh, the purple color because it was, like, I think it was the cheapest one. And uh, so let's check out the body here. So what they're supposed to do, like I always tell people, is they're supposed to replace the outsides. And of course they keep the insides. So basically what that means is that um, they won't replace the battery on these phones. But most of the time battery life is still pretty good on uh, these refurbished products unless there's something wrong with it then they'll replace it but uh, like like I said this one looks pretty much uh, pretty much spotless I can see like some light scratches but nothing nothing major I mean it basically looks new here yeah it it's it's basically looks new here and they did a good job wrapping this with plastic and everything let's boot this guy up and uh, Galaxy S9 is still a very good older flagship. And again, remember the price. Keep the price point in mind here. 189 bucks. This purple color looks really good too. So let's go over the hardware uh, real quick. So we do have an aluminum frame on here. And it feels uh, super solid as well. It's aluminum frame on here, glass back, and it is IP68 dust and water resistant. What I like about the Plus model over the smaller one is you do get that dual camera setup on here as well, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit more. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, we got a power button, volume rockers, I believe this is the Bixby button. Down below we still have our headphone jack, which is nice, USB Type-C. This phone does have stereo speakers, our um, you know, physical fingerprint scanner right here. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and set this guy up and then we can walk through the device for you guys. Alright guys, so I want to talk about the display first because it is a very nice display here. So you have a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED panel. It's HDR10. It's actually a 1440p display and you have 529 for the PPI and of course it's always on display. And this display is really, really gorgeous looking guys. It's very sharp. Uh, looking display being 1440p and having such a high PPI. Also another thing to note with the display is that there is no notch on this display as well. So uh, Samsung decided you know to go no notch when a lot of phones were going with uh, notches. And also it has a slight curve to it if you can see. Uh, it's uh, not too bad of a curve uh, but definitely uh, has a curve here. Uh, when I say this display has aged beautifully um, it is definitely uh, just super colorful and it gets fairly bright as well which is something that I like too uh, so overall for display quality I think that is like one of the standout features with this phone is just having a 1440p display with no notch super AMOLED uh, it's just a very nice looking display now do, will you get accidental touches I haven't gotten any accidental touches uh, with um, curved phones once you sort of get used to you know using them because I use a lot of them but uh, definitely that hasn't been an issue for me but as far as display quality goes I mean this is a very nice looking panel still alright guys so as far as the software situation we are running Android 10 with One UI 2.5 we do have the Snapdragon 845 on here in the Adreno 630 uh, so far performance wise this phone is still very fast I tell people all the time uh, if you do want to get an older flagship phone these phones are going to perform very well they're going to perform um, if not equal to or better than a lot of mid-rangers depending on you know which mid-ranger you get but as you can see the uh, Geekbench scores here and this perform it still performs really well guys I mean super smooth handles when you UI uh, really really well so I just really like uh, overall uh, just the smoothness and performance on this device here um, so you really don't notice any lag and stuff like that as far as your features on here you do have your Samsung desktop support which is a huge uh, little feature here to be able to uh, connect to a TV or to a monitor or however uh, you want to do that uh, you do have that feature on here which I think is super underrated and then we also have our screen recorder our secured folder on here Adobe Atmos Samsung Kids 
uh, is on here as well. So all of your essential Samsung features uh, is on uh, this device here. All right, so gaming on here, you know, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, you'll be able to game fine. I will drop a full gaming test, but as you can see, high with max FPS, or I can go very high. So you will have a pretty good gaming experience on here. And the screen looks really beautiful as well. And in addition to that, you do have dual speakers, which we will talk about. But there is one thing, the phone does get a little bit warm, I noticed. And not just with gaming, just I just noticed with just you know normal use. Uh, it does get warm, but not to the point where it's uncomfortable. Like this phone and the original, you know, just the regular, uh, the regular Galaxy phone, uh, it is, they, they do get kind of warm. But the reason why it's not a huge deal is because it's not uncomfortable and also uh, it's not going to be to the point where I, I know most people are going to put a case on it. So it's not a huge deal. All right, let's go ahead and hear what those speakers sound like. Max volume. These are some really, really nice speakers. Very well balanced here. We have very good clear bass on here. Some very crispy mids and highs on here. Uh, overall speaker quality is pretty good. You can even kind of feel the thump on this device too, on the back. Yeah, so as far as speakers, these are some very loud speakers. You also have very good uh, haptic feedback on this device or the vibration uh, is uh, pretty good on here. In addition, like I said, and you get a headphone jack. So I think the audio situation on this phone in general is just really solid. Now, you must remember that this device is being shipped with 64 gigs. So I did not put a lot on here. So you can see I'm already at 45.2 gigs. Now, that's not an issue because you do have micro SD support and you also have an option to get the 60, 128 gigabyte version. I just got the 64 gig because it was the cheapest and I have SD cards or whatever. Uh, but just do note that and you also have six gigs of RAM. So as far as just speed and multitasking on here, if we just, uh, let's just bounce in and back into some applications. See, see how many closes we get. So it keeps a lot of stuff open. Call of Duty still open. Yeah, this restarted, but uh, overall, um, like I said, multitasking is gonna be fine on this device. Uh, it, it, it's a pretty fast device, so you just gotta trust me on that. Um, people don't believe me when I say that these older flagship phones are very fast. I do want to talk about some additional features. This phone does have NFC as well for your mobile payments. And you also have a physical fingerprint scanner on the back, which works very well. So zero issues uh, there, as you can see. Super fast. And you also have the option to do face unlock as well, guys. And Samsung has this iris scanner thing on here uh, that scans your eye, which is a pretty cool feature. They don't really do it anymore, uh, but it's, it's kind of, it, I guess it was kind of gimmicky. They stopped, but I thought it was cool. Uh, when they were doing it. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the cameras. All right, so on this Plus model, you do have a dual camera setup. You have a 12 megapixel standard and a 12 megapixel telephoto. It shoots in 4K, 30 or 60 FPS. And then you have an eight megapixel uh, dual camera setup up front. Uh, that is eight megapixels. And then a two megapixel uh, iris scanner that shoots in 1440p. Uh, this phone takes phenomenal photos for an older flagship phone. I mean, it is really good. I was super, super impressed uh, with image quality. So as you can see, you get very good detail uh, with taking shots on this guy. Um, also, the depth of field is pretty nice. The telephoto lens is really clean. I mean, these shots come out super, super clean. Uh, you don't you don't even get like the super um, 
you know oversaturation that you would get on some Samsung phones. This one is really well balanced color wise. It handles overexposure pretty well too. And like I said, you get plenty of detail on here. So I was just really impressed. Uh, low light situations were also pretty good on here too. But I was just impressed by how clean the photos came out. I mean, the image processing on here is actually very, very good. So um, definitely, uh, these are excellent cameras uh, for sure. The telephoto lens is really nice too. I mean, you can just see the photos for yourself. These photos come out really crispy and really clean looking. And I'll go ahead and let you see the video and let you hear the audio as well. Alright guys, this is the video on the Galaxy S9 Plus here. Just walk around real quick. And it looks pretty good. Let me know how the mic sounds. And then we can uh, 2x here. Let's go this way. Then we'll hit our 2x for the telephoto. We can also take a picture from the, uh, you know, while recording. I think it looks pretty nice. Alright, so what about battery life on this phone? So you should get pretty good battery life on this device. Uh, you get a, a screen on time of around 6 hours, which is pretty accurate from uh, what I've seen on YouTube from battery drain tests and stuff like that. So you have a 3,500 milliamp battery on here as well as 15 watt charging. And then you also have wireless charging on board too. So uh, that is really nice. So battery life you should have. Uh, some excellent uh, battery life or at least uh, technically six hours is like the bare minimum from all for all all day battery life all right so basically to wrap it up I think this is an awesome device I mean I'm super impressed with overall build quality is just really really nice on here I really love I'm glad I got this purple color uh, I was really surprised with how well the cameras uh, came out on here the screen also is super sharp no notch I was really happy with that um, so the processor is pretty fast on here too, as you can, as you saw, really no issues there. Um, so really, I'm just, I'm really impressed with this phone, and especially the price point of it. Um, so definitely a really nice classic uh, older flagship phone. So what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.